Hey, welcome back. Uh, in this reading from the Bible, from Hebrews chapter 12 into chapter 13, we're going to see what gratitude, what thankfulness brings into our lives. Uh, the heading up above is gratitude breeds fill in the blank. So as I read, I want you to think, what are all the different things that go in the blank? When we're thankful, what does that cause us to do? What does that bring into our lives? Here we go. Hebrews 12 into Hebrews 13. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, in other words, since we're receiving God's kingdom, heaven for all eternity, and his rule in our hearts right now, and that can't be ripped away, we have this sure and certain thing. Since we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, and this goes back to the kingdom that will never be shaken, he has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. That's God's word. Now, did you write anything down? Did you fill in the blanks? Here are my answers. Gratitude breeds, based on just this section of the Bible, it breeds worship, love, hospitality. It breeds remembering or having compassion for other people. It breeds honor, as in honoring what God says about marriage and not loving money. It breeds also, last, contentment. Because you have, no matter what you have in this life, you have the God who has given you himself and has given you his kingdom that will never be shaken. Go ahead and listen to the next song. I'll see you back for the sermon in a little bit.